Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the second day of the Modding Minecraft uh, summer camp at Rankin. And so this is a virtual camp. And yesterday we did a lot of setup. We did a whole lot of setup yesterday with our computers. And where we left off was one command away from running Minecraft on our computers. Um, and so I left that command off unintentionally, but it kind of worked out because yesterday was a full day. So I, I'm gonna make a short video. I, my intent on making this video is, is somewhat short and showing you the one command. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna Google for Minecraft Forge. So step one is to go to the a minecraftforge.net website that we were on this website yesterday. And yesterday, if you remember, we clicked on the documentation. We're going to do the same thing today. And we clicked on getting started and we clicked on home. And yesterday we copied a command into a batch file, which was this uh, uh, Gradle W or Gradlu generate IntelliJ runs. And if you kind of look at this command, it says this will generate the run configurations and download any required assets for the game to run. If you encounter an error, don't worry, you know, we didn't, hopefully we didn't encounter an error, but we basically this generates, this is the command that we ran um, that downloads everything uh, for the game to run. And so you ran that yesterday. If you ran your batch file yesterday, you already ran this command. Um, which is a majority of what was needed, but um, there's one more command that's needed to build your mod. And so this download, this command downloaded um, all the files, but with the files, there, there was a test mod that we're going to be working with. There was a mod in those files. And what we need to do is we need to basically build our mod um, so that we can play the game. And so this is the command that we're going to run. Now, yesterday we made a batch file, and that was cool and whatnot, but it really, it really wasn't all that necessary. If I go into my folder, hopefully you all are at this point where you've got this unzipped like notice this is a zipped folder and this is an unzipped folder. So you, you, should, you should have the unzipped folder and you might have deleted the zip folder. That's cool. Inside this unzipped folder, you got all this stuff here, right? We did this yesterday. Um, so hopefully everyone's at this point. If not, we got to get you caught up. Okay, and there's a batch file that we made. And, and a batch file is just a file that you can run many times and it should have many commands. So, you know, this doesn't have many commands. It just has one command. Um, you don't even need, you don't even need this to, today, but you, you should have already run this command, right? That, that downloaded everything. Um, because we already run, ran that command, we're, we don't need to run it again today, but we just need to run this other command. This is gradlu build. And we could put it in our batch file, um, but I'm gonna show you kind of a different approach. So this is the command that we're going to run. And I'm going to show you how to um, run that command without putting it in a batch file. And so what I'm going to do is on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the shift key. So I'm in this folder, step one being the right folder. Okay, and that's the unzipped folder. that It's on my desktop. It might be somewhere else for you, but mine's on my desktop. I'm going to hold down the shift key and in an empty, I'm, I'm going to right click in an empty area in this folder. So kind of down at the bottom, there's all this empty space, right? You have to right click in an empty area. You can't right click a file or right click a folder. You got to right click an empty area. And if you're holding down shift, you're going to see this open PowerShell window. PowerShell is essentially an advanced command prompt. Okay, so we can type in commands here, and this is a PowerShell window. Okay, so this is where we can type in commands, um, command line commands, 
Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a dot forward slash. So, so it's got to be a forward slash. Notice this is a backslash. Um, so the difference between a backslash and a forward slash, there's your forward slash. You can imagine that's a, that's a slash that's falling forward. This is a slash that's falling backwards. This is a slash that's falling forward. Okay, and the command was Gradle W or Gradlu built. Again, I'm just going to double check that since I typed it all out. Gradlu space build. There's a single space in there. Okay, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now I already did this yesterday, um, and it worked for me yesterday. Um, I'm anticipating no problems today. Um, it really should not... I wouldn't anticipate any problems. In fact, there it says build successful. Okay, and again, what did that do? There's These two commands are the two commands that we need to run. One of them we put in a batch file and we ran yesterday. Um, the other one we're just going to run from a command prompt um, or, or an advanced command prompt called PowerShell. And this is gradlu build. And again, what that does is it builds your mod. And when we downloaded all these files yesterday, it came with like a, a template mod. And this builds the mod. Now, now that that's done, okay, and our build was successful, okay, I can go ahead and close PowerShell. And then I'm going to run IntelliJ. And if you ran IntelliJ yesterday, your project might open up automatically. Um, mine doesn't open up automatically. I changed a setting so it doesn't open automatically. Probably if you didn't change that setting, yours is just going to open up. Um, so this is a, a project. This is something that I opened yesterday. I'm just going to click on this. And it's going to load that folder in IntelliJ. And this is what we did yesterday. Remember, I, I showed you the example mod .java. This is the, the, the Java file for the mod that we just built. Okay. Now, some of you got this yesterday. It says download pre-built share indexes, reducing the index time. I'm not worried about that. You could just close that if you get any notifications down here. In fact... Uh, you know, you can click don't show again, and that's fine. Okay. Um, now, we should be at a point now um, where you have this run client option. Now that we've built our mod, we should be able to run client. And again, I did this yesterday, and it worked yesterday, so I don't anticipate any problems. Um, we'll give it a second here. Um, it might be downloading some stuff in the background. Normally it launches pretty fast. Okay, there it goes. Preparing run client. And it runs a bunch of things. Kind of, you kind of see what's scrolling in the background there. You can see Minecraft has launched. This uh, this window has launched. The game is loading. It does get a little red error in the background, and that's totally cool. I'm not worried about that. If you were, if you were following that, it's nothing to worry about, that red in the background. Um, that was um, like an authentication thing. Like if you put in some... An account username and password but you don't have to it's totally cool wait um, um what i meant was like when i typed in slash gradlu build it said like dot slash the term is not recognized as the name of the cmd let function script file or operable program okay that's okay what what um what i would encourage you to do is just put that message in the help channel and i'll be right with you Okay, as soon as, as soon as I uh, stop this recording, I'll be able to get you through that, okay? Um, so just go ahead and type into the help channel, please. Um, at this point, uh, that's all I wanted to do in this video. Um, let me go ahead and click on mods. You can kind of see here that there's an example mod with some text. We're going to change this up today. We're just going to have this say some different things. Um, there's a Forge mod and a Minecraft. and So we kind of have three things going on here. 
we're going to change up the mods folder. And, you know, as you know, Minecraft better. And again, I, I can get you to the code, but I, I have to learn Minecraft a little bit myself. But yeah, we got single uh, player. We've got this, uh, the, the modes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create um, a new world in creative. Um, allow sheets on. Um, you know, so I'm going to just go ahead and click create new world. And I was going to show you that that works. It's called New World. Um, go full screen here. And here we go. Got a lot going on on my, uh, got a lot going on with my computer, so it might be a little bit laggy. But I got Minecraft running, Google shotting everything. So demonstration complete, save and quit. And I'll stop the recording here and then I'll help you guys through, get you to this point.